So today we'll see how to make a standard graph using Excel. I have already shown you the calculations of total phenolic content in the previous video and many of you questioned or commented so that I show you how to make the standard graph and from where did the y is equal to mx plus c equation come from. So let me show you the first thing that is how to make a standard graph in Excel. So I have my data that is concentration and then absorbance of my gallic acid standard and now I want to plot a curve. So I'll select all this data. Always remember that the, uh, the column on the left side would be X and on the right side it would be Y. So uh, the data will be plotted concentration on the X axis and then absorbance on the Y axis. So I'll select this data and then go to insert option on uh, on the ribbon above and then insert uh, a chart. So here you can see the option of recommended charts, but I will go to the scatter plot x y scatter and select the first option. So here you can see my standard graph. Now I want to add certain elements where I will also add the equation uh, that is y is equal to mx plus c equation from where we calculated the phenolic content in the previous video. So let me add here the elements. I'll first of all add add chart element here if you see my arrow and I'll add first of all trend line which is linear trend line. Then I will further go to that option again and click on more trend line options. Okay, just wait. Now on the right side, you can see the format trend line option. Uh, there is a bar displayed on the right side. So the second last option, you can see display equation on chart and then display R squared value on chart. So the recommended R square value is 0.9 and above, which shows us that we are going on the right path. So I will here plot my graph first, make the trend line linear, then form this, uh, then select to display the equation on my chart. This is the equation y is equal to mx plus c, where we have the value of m and c, and we put y as the absorbance value of our sample and then calculate the concentration of our unknown sample. So this uh, standard plot may be used to either calculate the concentration of glucose in biochemistry experiments and there are many many standard uh, experiments like in total flavonoid content as well. So this is how you plot the standard graph. This is how the second step you get the equation from where we can further calculate our values of the desired uh, cess parameter right so i hope this video has helped you if you have any questions do comment in in the comment section and i'll make a video for you again meet you in the next video until then bye bye